Wine number three is Shiraz Viognier. In this particular case, it's about 95% Shiraz and 5% Viognier. So instead of your regular old Shiraz all the time, this is just going to give it that little extra dimension of, of kind of character to it. So let's now taste on our palate. Remember this, the hotter the climate, the riper the grapes, the higher the potential for alcohol. That's why typically when you buy a lot of Australian wines, they're like 14.9% alcohol. It's because the climate is so hot. But if you buy wines from Niagara, the alcohol never gets that way because it's a cool climate region. The grapes are less ripe, therefore the potential for high alcohol is low. A little bit of tannin, a little bit of dry, just a little bit. Try first is, let's just take one bite of your beef slider without the cheese on it. Plain. What happened for you? How did the wine change? It's less dry, it's more mellow. It's smoother. That's because of the fat and proteins of the burger. Let's put the cheese on the slider. Pretend it got a quick melt on the grill. Okay, let's try. Did that work for you too? Again, it softened the wine, it was less heavy, and it was less tannin. It was very smooth. This particular wine is also really great with barbecued meats, and, and often when you put barbecue sauces on things, barbecue sauces work really well with the Shiraz of the Onion style of wine. This wine for ageability. This will age nicely for about three years. How many people age a lot of their reds that, that you're making at least three years? We did the Brunello. How many people still? Good, good, good. This side of the room, they're eating their wines over here. So just try and put a couple away. It'll be amazing the difference. Amazing.